Hey guys, Lima here. Um, if you see my last video, you would know why I haven't been here for a while. So I have my video ready that I'm gonna show you. And since it's been a while, I'm just gonna hop right into it. I've got my camera um, here. Um, so today I have a nickel hunt wrap up. I have my book here, I have my buffalo nickel jar, and my, um, my Jefferson nickel box of old coins that I have, so 50s that I have, like if I have a 47, I'd put it in there. So, where did that go? It's in there. Take that out. So first thing that I found was this 1990, 1990 Canadian cent, five cents, I mean. I don't have a book for that, so I'm just gonna leave that to the side. So this, we've got four 1959Ds. And I already have this in my book, right there. Have that already. So I'm going to be putting that in the box. And same with this. This is the 58 Denver Focus. 58 Denver. Also have four of them. I'm going to be putting those in the box as well. This one right here we got the nineteen fifty seven plane, pretty dirty. Maybe been in the ground, I don't know. Maybe an acid or something. Maybe someone's experiment. We have that spot right I'm pretty sure we have that spot. 57 right here Perfect Now we have the 1954 San Francisco Pretty nice find. I think I really like the color on it and I also like the look of the S. Very swoopy. 1954S. Do believe I need that. Be on this page. 54S. Do need that. We have that in the book. Next two items, we have, well, we have, oh my gosh, focus, bro. Alright, I guess I'm just going to have to read it because it doesn't want to focus. I have the 1953 Denver, we have two of them, so automatically one's going to go in there. Want to focus yet? 1953 Denver, we got that. Um, we do not have that in the book. 1953 Denver, 59 million, 29 million. <clears throat> and then we have the 40s up here. We got 1943, really nice toning, 43P. Really common, so I already have this one, but I really love the toning. And I've decided that with this, I'm going to put it in the jar along with the buffalo nickels and V nickels. Oh, there's one V nickel in there somewhere. I just stopped to find it. It's right there. So I'm going to be putting that in here. And it's home now. Now we have the... 1947 plane and 
We already have that in our book right here. So that's going to be going in the box. And these last two, these are my favorites. The 1940 D and S. These were really exciting when I found them. Focus on that S. It's really hard to see, but that is an S. Um, and I don't have any of the 40s. So I'm going to be putting those in. And 40 is actually the most common. And I got the two more rare ones, which is really exciting. So this is the 40S. So this one's going right here. All right. And then this one's the 40D. So it'll be going right here. And then that Canadian. So, this is what the book looks like afterward. I'm going to pick this up. We got this filled, this filled. And then over here we got, um, we got this filled, and we got this filled, and this filled. So, that's what the book looks like now. And stay tuned for the next nickel hunt. Soon I, we should have this book filled up, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it has been a while, so comment down below what you think of my new um, tripod, if, it, if you like it better, if you don't like it better. I think it's kind of, it doesn't seem like I'm interacting as much because I'm not actually holding the camera, and I can't get closer to things as easily because then there's no really not really a point of having the tripod because the tripod's to keep it from shaking a lot and it's kind of harder to get closer if you know what I mean I have to like hold it closer to you so comment down below what you thought about the tripod if you don't want it if you like it better and I'll see you guys next time peace